I'm a doorkeeper. Hmm. Now, those that truly have a Bible with good cross reference, it would normally say this was uh, actually in a prayer that David was praying in this 84th Psalm, numbers of Psalm. It was a prayer. It takes somebody truly dedicated to be a doorkeeper in God's house. Matter of fact, I'm just going to tell you, a doorkeeper have to have, amen, good status of God to work God's door. Mm. Because Hebrew 12 and 14, Paul said, to be able to be a doorkeeper in at God's house. You have to follow all peace with all me. Hebrew 12 and 14, you got to be able to get along with the worst one. So I'm just going to tell you, it's a difference between being a gatekeeper and a doorkeeper. <laughs> There's a difference. Can I tell you? Different to being a gatekeeper and a doorkeeper. To be a gatekeeper, all you got to do is open the gate. And close the gate. But to be a doorkeeper, you got to be one that has the lifeless status to get permission for them to come in and then to stand still. But you can't have a status of a character of a person when you be a doorkeeper of the Lord's house. You got to know how to look at that person. Oh, y'all ain't catching it. You won't catch it for us. You got to have the characteristic of Christ like to be a doorkeeper. In other words, amen. What's your old? You got to have holiness. Can I help you for a few minutes? I jotted down a few notes that let me know to remind me that this is a characteristic for all Christian believers. To walk in God's house, you got to have a, a, good, a good spirit. Because in 1 Timothy 2 and 8 said, I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath or doubting. That's what First Timothy said, that, that you got to have, you got to have lifting up hands. I think if anybody, hey man, praising the preacher ought to leave me the usher. Oh, you on the 
publicize and you holding your public post and you directing and you telling in and out. But the thing I want you to understand, I'm not gonna push you hard, but you got to have that holy standard. Are y'all gonna follow me here? Maybe if I get y'all some more information, you'll get me. It'll help bag me up. Watch this in him. In Psalms 23 and 6, it says, Surely in goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will dwell in the house of the Lord for help. David took pleasure in knowing he was not only just after God's heart, but he knew that if he could talk to God in such a way that I dwell in the house of the Lord. Let oh, yes, me see, when we give it to you, you got to be dedicated. Yeah. As a housekeeper and a doorkeeper. Yes, Your pastor shouldn't have to beg you to come to church. Lushes ought to be the first thing here and the last thing to leave. Somebody can be mad with me, but that's all right. It's just the biblical standpoint. I heard David said he did good to dwell in the house of the Lord. Not only this, but there's another one here. Jump to thank you, David. Thank you. Psalm 24 and 9, David says again, lift up your holy hands. Oh, ye gates. Even lift up them, ye in everlasting doors. The king of glory shall come in. Come on, somebody. David was shaking on how he felt how we all lift up them hands. You see, brother, we are organized organization in God's house standing at God's door. It should be no argument. It should be no misunderstanding. Positions are not take care and have the have the glove more cleaner than you. I'm gonna get out of here because I gotta get back down and down. But, 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 but somebody say holy. Holy Spirit is giving us these keys to the fact to know that the holiness as a doorkeeper means everything. And I asked the Holy Ghost, hey amen, I was laying up this morning, I said, give me something to talk about. I need to know two holy ushers I can talk about. Wow. Let me give a design, grab the two holy ushers that they don't know nothing about. Only you know, God, tell them to me. So the Lord, Holy Ghost, come visit me this morning and say, take them to the book of Luke. All right. All right. Chapter 2, yeah, verse 25 through 37. That was the first usher named Old Man Simeon. Simeon was, didn't tell me how old he was, but he was promised that he would live until Jesus get there. He was a doorkeeper in Jerusalem. He was there waiting and telling as a keeper until Christ got there. Y'all know the story. Read it for yourself. When Christ, Simeon got there, Simon was able to reach out and talk to him. Holy now. Now he know the one. There was another one in there named Anna. Anna had them been there sitting there praying in God's house day and night. Y'all ain't hearing me now. They said she was 84 years old. She was a hey man. Lived with a husband 70 years. Come on, somebody. Now, she, he gone 70 years. She lived with him. Now, she 84. A little woman in God's house. Being something like a doorkeeper. I'm talking about these people was holy here. It was anointed. They said they had special spirits in spirit. That they was capable of speaking to people in that spirit. In other words, it was qualified in the spirit. You ain't got to say amen to it. I looked at it. Cinnamon was qualified. Anna was qualified. You know what made her qualified? Because when she met her husband, she was a bird. And then she stayed with him till he died. And she was a willow woman. He is still serving God and being a doorkeeper. Guess what? After these two doorkeepers seen that Jesus had the king, the cinema said, Lord, it's time now. It's time now. I can serve my doorkeeper. I can give him 
my dedication. Yes. See, some of y'all in here, y'all just got this problem. Only time I want to pray is this when you get in trouble. Oh. When you need something. But to be a dope keeper or be a good character, a Christian, you got to have a prayer life. Yeah. Man, and you got to have a spiritual ministry. Oh. So I, I dedicate the, this very moment to Cinnamon and O'Hanlon. Yeah. They was dedicated. Yeah. So when I got to reading it, because Jerusalem uh, was disturbed. Jerusalem was hurting. Yeah. And these two people knew they needed an answer. Oh, and saints of God, I, I have learned something that you just can't pray when you're in need. You got to pray like you really want to hear from God. Yeah. In other words, there's a word they call, they say, strive with perfection. Strive with dedication. So Hannah did her part. Uh, and old Cinnamon did his part. They knew that Jesus was a deliverer. And they gave him black speed. They gave him power forever. And it made the preacher feel good when he see his ushers standing on posts. And uh, if there's nobody else waving their hand, the ushers ought to be waving their hand. And let the pastor shout and know that we got your pose, Richard. Go ahead and wrap back like you know how to do. The ushers got the pose, and they're going to give permission to say the Holy Ghost is in this place. And I'm going to tell you, if y'all can just help me get out of here today, if y'all can just wave your hand and let the Holy Ghost know, we want to say farewell and well done, ushers. Get somebody in here, but get the anointing on me. Somebody in here, but get a praise on me.
no more. I'm looking at somebody in here. Is you a goalkeeper or are you just a gatekeeper? Which one are you? A goalkeeper? Hold the dog. Yeah. 